Togo zani togo zani. Sun banan kama gusi wa mkiso dokuruma saying beautiful and blessed Friday to you all. I hope you guys had an absolutely wonderful and productive week. But wait, gifuno kuluma about negotiating with your ancestors. The act of ukela noma making a request eklozini for how you would like to handle and navigate your spiritual calling or gift. Now, I am very concerned about this because I see children that are in school being made to enter a Pechlen and Twasa. I see children that are in varsity being made to forego their degrees by your Twasa. I see adults in the workplace, right? being made to leave their jobs or being made to take extended periods of leave, right? Because they have to twasa. Instead of practicing the art of negotiation. Let me explain a little bit about negotiating. First and foremost, you cannot negotiate without acceptance. Right? You cannot negotiate without acceptance you accept and acknowledge I accept this gift I accept this calling and this spiritual journey right once you have accepted that and you are in the door you can now negotiate and you can say I know that you would like me to be at home and answering my calling, but unfortunately, um seven one requires that I be at the office or at the desk. Can you give me in where I can work from home and when I can go into the office? So that when you are going to your employer, you are saying, Guti, um, look, can I please have a bit of a mixed working situation where I have some days at the office and I have some days at home, right? The reason why is because they're trying to get your attention and get you to accept. Once you've accepted, and which is usually a sheep or a goat, right? Then can now the same goes for children in school. We should not be initiating children that are under the age of 18. We should be going through the process of doing umsebenzi wokela and we ask Ijozi to allow the child to complete school, but we accept as a family and acknowledge the fact that our child is born spiritually gifted and has a calling and a journey which they should undergo. Sometimes since umsebenzi wokela even for the person in university. You do um seven wokela even if you are struggling to complete your degree, especially Nina, that are struggling to complete matric. You're rewriting. You're struggling to complete your postgraduate degree. You're in your final year of your undergrad and you're struggling to complete that one single module. Accept and then you can negotiate. All right. The art of negotiating does not necessarily mean you are rejecting and it also doesn't necessarily mean you are passing it on to someone else. I want to make it very clear. You cannot negotiate with the intention of passing it on to someone else or never going back and fulfilling your promise to Ilos. That also being said, your negotiating is only a request for time. You are asking Ilosi for time to go through what you need to complete right now in that particular period in your life and then you will attend to their request. So do not negotiate or execute um sevens knowing full well you have no intention of fulfilling your promise. Now, why does Ijozi allow us to negotiate? They allow us to negotiate because in the time that they have given to you, you are also emotionally and mentally preparing yourself. For the journey ahead. You are financially preparing yourself. As well. 
your family is also adapting and understanding and coming to terms with what is going to happen in your life. So if you are watching this video and you are in a position where you would like assistance with negotiating, send us an email, info at spiritanimals.ca.za or call us on 010-015-0901 and we can talk about negotiating. Right? You can call on behalf of a friend that needs assistance. You can call on behalf of your, your spouse, your colleague that you think needs assistance. Togozani, Magwande.